Well, hello, this is Kelly and I am the Mathematic Plumber and welcome to video four of the gas venting series. Today we talk about sizing vent connectors using the rule of thumb method. In order to best understand what's being talked about in this video, you should review videos two and three of the gas venting series where we talk about sizing vents and chimneys using the rule of thumb method. Yes, the system is different for vent connectors. Now the vent connector is the portion of piping that connects the appliance to the vent. It's this part right here. The rule of thumb method to size a vent connector for a single appliance is really simple. It's the same size as the draft hood outlet. This hot water tank has a 4 inch draft hood outlet. The vent connector will be 4 inches in size. This other example we have a furnace with an integral draft hood and the flue collar is where we connect up the vent. The flue collar is 5 inches therefore the vent connector is 5 inches. When we look at these appliances side by each, we're going to notice that one of them has a single wall vent connector and the other has a double wall vent connector. Yes, we're allowed to do this if we want to. Now, the last thing we need to note is that it doesn't matter if we have a vent connector going into a vent or a chimney, the vent connector is always sized the same way. Now, when we see a scenario like this, sizing the vent connectors is pretty easy. I have a hot water heater and it has a five inch draft hood outlet Therefore, its vent connector will be 5 inches. And I have a draft hood equipped furnace over on the right hand side there, and it has a 4 inch draft hood outlet. So the vent connector itself is 4 inch. That is size. The only thing we need to size different is the vent. That's on video 2. Apparently, this is connected upside down. I forgot to look at code clause 8161 where it says the smaller vent connector needs to be connected above the larger. So we need to flip these on their head. Now in this next example, we have two vent connectors joined together before it enters the common vent. So now we have to do a different sizing procedure for this. First of all, let's take care of the easy stuff. From the water heater to that venting Y, we just have a six inch vent connector because there is a six inch draft hood on that water heater. And then we have another water heater on the right that has a five inch draft hood. Well, that little stumpy piece from the draft hood up to the Y is going to be a five inch vent connector. But pipe B, that is our common vent connector. That is gonna be sized using math. But first of all, let's go through the different names for pipe B. The common vent connector has multiple possible names. Vent connector manifold, or common vent connector manifold. Vent connector header, or common vent connector header. So that common vent connector requires some special math that we call the rule of thumb method for vent connectors. And that is 100% of the area of all vent connectors combined up to that point. So for this example, we've got a six inch draft hood. So we need to take six squared or six times six equals 36 and then add it to the next draft hood is five. So five squared or five times five which equals 25. 36 plus 25 is 61. Now I need to do one last step. I need to take the square root of 61 and I'm gonna get 7.8 inches. So the next size up is eight inches and that will be the size of my common vent connector. Now this next example has three water heaters all with different size draft hoods and they're joining into common vent connectors. Now notice how the size of the common vent connector gets bigger as it goes before it turns up into the vent. Well, this is called breaching. Let's start with the easy stuff. I have three section of vent connectors that are gonna match the size of the draft hood outlets. The left hand one has a six inch draft hood outlet and that's gonna be a six inch vent connector right up to the first Y. Now in between the Ys and the draft hoods of the different water heaters, we're going to have a five inch vent connector in the middle one and a four inch vent connector on the right one. Common vent connector B should look very much like the last math that we did. I have a six inch draft hood outlet and a five inch one. Six squared is 36 plus five squared is 25. Add those together, I get 61. And I've already done the math on this. Square root of 61 is 7.8. So pipe B is eight inches. Now for pipe C, I need to take six inch squared is 36 plus five inch squared is 25 plus four inch squared, which is 16. 
Well, that gives me 77 square inches that I need to take the square root of. Now, when I take the square root of 77, I get 8.77 inches. So the size of my common vent connector will be nine inches at C. For this last example, I have a large boiler that has three five inch drafted outlets. Now this is officially the vent connector manifold. It's not gonna change size throughout. We're just gonna size it once. So this could be called the manifold or the header. But the math is all the same. For a vent connector, I still need 100% of the area. So five squared equals 25. And there's three of them. So 25 times three equals 75 square inches. Let's take the square root of that. And I get 8.66 inches. So the size of my vent connector header or my vent connector manifold will be nine inches. And this brings us to the end of this video. So I hope this all made sense to you and you have yourself a great day.